Alrighty guys, I'm Orthodon and we are back from My Hero Academia episode 53. Uh, something I forgot to mention at the beginning of the last episode is we're actually doing four episodes this week, which is including the last one, and then that will leave three episodes next week, and then the following week, which is really exciting, we'll be getting into the reactions instead of rewatch because I won't have seen anything past that. So, so yeah, not... Not this week, not next week, but the week after we will be doing um reactions again. I'm really I'm really excited for that. But yeah guys, this is my rewatch series, like I mention every now and then. Uh I've seen the show before. We're gonna be rewatching it a bit, trying to catch up to where I left off, and that way you guys can have kinda like a idea of my mindset of the show and everything through all the episodes and all that. Plus getting a nice little refresher. So that way I can have all the information up to date and current and be able to theorize better by, you know, having everything relatively fresh in my mind is good as well. Uh, also, my air conditioner is on, so if you hear some humming throughout the episode uh, at points where I might not be talking or whatnot, uh, that's why. So let's jump into this episode, shall we? Alrighty, we are going to start in five, four, three, two one now yes <laughs> oh. we got our we got our kids developing their their super moves and it ended off last time because i didn't get to talk uh I like sometimes if I don't say much in the beginning, I'll do a little bit of recap of what happened in the previous episode, but I just realized I never noticed that Midoriya has his like bunny ear mask on again, but it blows off. Interesting. Um I'm not the biggest fan of it, so I'm not okay that he doesn't wear it very often. But yeah, we left off with All Might almost getting hit by a rock of Bakugo, which actually, now that I say that, I think they recap it a little bit here after the intro, so we're probably going to see it again anyway. It's very interesting that in the outro, it shows Bakugo and then, or did I say outro, I meant intro. Uh, it shows Bakugo with his outfit on, fading to just him, and then showing him, like, almost looking at All Might's back, but not Midoriya doing that. It's interesting. <laughs> yes, more Hatsumebe! Good designer can meet all the reckless, ignorant, and idolized demands of the client. I love that too. Uh, everything's settled. Mm. Now, he is going to be more of a speed type, but I feel like he's going to be kind of hybrid. Because using his legs makes him strong, and that's, like, him being strong is what makes him fast, is what I'm trying to say. But he's still going to be very powerful with his legs, or he should. Whatever he can use, like, 100% in his legs. No, all oh my I hope someone kicks the rock out of the way. No. Yeah. Iron Souls, yes. <laughs> Hmm. 
I love that like slide landing that he does. It's so good. Custom Gamma. The test. Ah. That's right. That they get into that pretty quickly. I forgot about that. Yeah. So it seems like what All Might was trying to say there, I always thought they inferred that that is a ultimate move. But it almost seemed like he was saying that for the provisional test, you could consider that an ultimate move. It's enough to pass, you know? <laughs> yeah. Aww. You're just a normal citizen now, buddy. Damn. I wonder what those bracer kind of things that Todoroki was just doing are for. They almost look like they'd be like weights for like weight training or something, but I don't know. <laughs> Hurry up and get out of the way. <laughs> That's him not being eccentric. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, what I'm talking about is Monoma's reaction. I think it shows it again here. Yeah, that. <laughs> I like how ectoplasm is just wrapped up back there. Hmm. Yeah. Crazy looking friggin' things into the background there. I wonder what that is that she wants to do. I wonder if it has anything to do with what she does later, or if it's something we just haven't, or I haven't seen yet, I should say. A lot of you guys have probably already finished Season 3. <laughs> Damn it, Uraka. Just makes herself float away. I don't really like understand what the purpose of these scenes are other than to show that Uraka is starting to like she doesn't admit it yet, but she's starting to like him more and more. 
<laughs> and then this right here. <laughs> the music and everything. Yes, it is. Be easier if you just admit it. Alrighty. <laughs> like a weird position that I thought has got in to talk to him. <laughs> Semi pros. All right, I'll become a chick. Very awkward. Knowing what I know, seeing it zoom into Todoroki when he showed up is kind of funny. Although I still don't know why he has it out for Todoroki. I haven't seen that far yet. If it even shows it in season three, but as that one knows him. I want to try saying it just once. This guy is so over the top. Yeah. He's a big dude for a first year. Likes cats. I think we've seen that before. He is a big dude. <laughs> I love her. She's Aizawa's antagonist. <laughs> I never thought about it when I was watching it. I just, like, I wonder if his hair doesn't float when he's looking at her, but I wonder if she just doesn't use her quirk on him or if he blocks her quirk. I wonder, I always wonder how that works. <laughs> Yeah, I've, uh, I guess, uh, I mentioned having barely any gripes last, uh, episode, but it's kind of weird how much he looks like Midoriya, right? I don't know if that's intentional for some reason, or if he is just, like, running out of character designs ideas, because they, impl like, they introduce so many characters, you know? But... very interesting. <laughs> I like how Bakugo is the one that noticed his kind of attitude. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> We're getting Minetta. She was serious about that, which, for all we've seen from her character, that's the only time she was this episode. <laughs> this guy is the definition of me when I'm not doing something that I enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> he needs some coffee. Some freaking weird looking designs in that, that crowd, though. It was like a big gray guy who was like really like huge. I don't know what he is. From so zoomed out, it's hard to tell, but. Yeah. <clears throat> I really love that shot of the hero killer as well. Figured I should mention that. It was really cool. Friggin' like horse and armor. Some crazy ass designs, I'll tell you that much. Which is what makes me think that the guy that looks like Midoriya is supposed to look like Midoriya for a reason. I'm just. small brain syndrome, can't figure out what it is. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know about luck and everything. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Let's just move on to this. <laughs> oh, my knee just cracked. Yep. Which means you can essentially kill steal in a sense. Obviously they're not killing, but it's the same concept. Yep. It's a strategy. It may not be morally acceptable in some people's eyes, but... <laughs> it's like some ridiculous contraption. Such a big area. Also, how did they get in that building, since they're in like the middle of that arena, how'd they get in that building without seeing the rest of that stuff, unless it was like an elevator or something? I don't know. <laughs> poor... Poor Isawa. Go out with me, shut up. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> this isn't a field trip. Yeah. I didn't even think of this. I, like... I guess when, yep, the sports festival, they all know their abilities. Like, I didn't even think about that, but when I first watched this, I also wasn't in, like, the analyzing kind of, like, mindset. Like, now that I do reactions and stuff, I, I kind of get in that mindset, even on shows that I watch off camera. Uh, but I wasn't really in that mindset before, where I'd just move on to the next episode, because I didn't... You know, I had watched season three after it had already, like, come out, so I wasn't watching it episode by episode. So I didn't really have much time to think, I just moved on to the next one and stuff like that, so... <laughs> the crushing of UA. <laughs> Not anymore, though. Your data is outdated. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I always like that. Oh, his dad were talking about his kids. I love this so much. They just have to overcome everything. It's so cool. And I like how I like how they don't need Oh, I want to read this first. <laughs> yeah. The hero needs to be over needs to be able to overcome. We we look a little ahead. <laughs> Talking smack, Aizawa. Yeah. Alright, so what I was gonna say, uh, while the outro goes, uh, is, uh, the, I like how not every character needs to be showing off, like, how good they are in that exact situation, you know? Like, some, some shows they'll make sure every character gets a shot, because they're like, oh, these characters are all from UA, they're all, you know, OP, you know? But no, some of them don't have quirks that are useful in that situation. So you have, like, the really more aggressive characters going out ahead, you know, kicking the balls away, you know, using the acid, like, you know, whatever. Uh, and then you could see, like, Sue, Momo, and someone else, I believe, was inside the shields that Momo made. Uh, which is really cool, because that wasn't them showing off, you know, they... It's basically the class using their own strengths to to what they can do, and if they can't do anything, the show has no problem keeping them off to the side a little bit, which is pretty cool. Alrighty, and that is the end of episode 53, guys. That was a good one. Um, it was definitely a lot of explanation that, you know, I kind of remembered how the whole uh, event took place and everything, and a lot of the beginning was 
like talking more about like the the hero moves and the goofing off with Monoma and stuff like that. So this episode was like almost like a a setting up episode that rewatching it wasn't you know obviously wasn't as exciting as it could be. But the ending I think is something that I really love to see anyway. So I'm definitely glad I rewatched it because every time Aizawa talks about you know his class, it's always really cool. And, you know, him talking about them here, like, you know, a hero is someone that has to overcome. It's kind of like what he talked about in, like, the third, fourth, or fifth episode, I can't remember. But he was saying that, like, uh, that was back when he was talking about, like, natural disasters and everything. Like, they're not gonna, they're not gonna wait, and they don't care, you know, stuff like that. It's, uh, it's the same kind of principle, and, you know, he's just saying, like, at UA, we think, you know, one step ahead, and... I don't know, it was just really badass. I love when Aizawa was talking about the, the kids like that and stuff. It's really cool. So, so yeah. It was fun seeing that again. But yeah, I enjoyed it uh, regardless. And I really look forward to the next five episodes that remain until I get back to reaction territory. And, uh, I mean, I, I could skip the filler too and then it'd be only two uh, next week that I do, but I think I'll probably do that just for fun anyway. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to support the channel, you can hit that subscribe button, and, uh, and there's also links in the description to things like my Patreon, where you can get benefits for my reactions. Unfortunately, there's no benefits for my rewatch series at the moment, especially since it's coming to an end and everything, and I'm not sure I'll do any more of them uh with this kind of format but uh you can check that out if you're interested in supporting me in any way and then there's also my anime list where you can see the shows i've watched as well as my twitch stream if you want to check that out although i haven't been streaming a lot recently maybe i'll change that at some point but we'll see but yeah guys i hope you enjoyed and i will see you next time Bye bye